Good morning, everybody. This is this is one of those times where future Taylor, while editing video, realized that he filmed too much for one video and had to break it up. So, like I mentioned at the end of the last one, uh, I was initially planning for this to be the the closet or the pantry remodel, and then rolling right into the kitchen remodel, which you'll see in this video. But it was uh, it was going to be too long, and I'm trying to keep these videos at reasonable lengths. So this is now the start of what got filmed a few days ago uh, on December 23rd. Still, it's a few days after that when I'm editing, but hey, you know, that's life. So enjoy, and here we go. Work you back to a few days ago. So now that that's done, we're gonna move into the main portion of this video, which is the the, uh, the the thing we're gonna do in the kitchen. So it's now that we've been here, we've lived here for two months, roughly, two and a half months, I think. And we had friends from out of state and out of country come live with us for about four days last month. And then we had a family from church over for dinner last week. And quickly realizing that it's a it's an awfully small kitchen so when we had our friends from out of town come we actually put a leaf in that table and extended it out but then it's you can kind of see how tight it is in that corner with our primary you know uh ingress egress point which is the side door there and then we had friends over last week we actually busted out this table here for the kids to sit at while the adults sat there. So it's kind of a little bit of a shuffle game in the kitchen. My wife wanted me to say, excuse the mess because it's Christmas baking season. You know, she's been busy baking a lot, hence all of the, the food and everything uh, out. But what we are going to do, what we decided that we are going to do in an effort to not only make the space more functional, but also kind of open it up a little bit we talked at one point about just taking out this entire wall, but then the couch is in here, and if we took this wall out, we would have nowhere for the couch to go in the family room. So what we are going to do is we are going to open up. We're gonna, for starters, move our little baker's rack, which is our coffee, currently our temporary microwave until I put one in there. Just kind of a little, you know, kitchen, kitchen goods area. We are gonna move this on that wall and then we are going to open up about nine feet of this wall right here and create a bar area like a bar top area with a window passage through to the family room so not only will that clear up this corner a lot by we're just going to get rid of the table for now put it upstairs or put it somewhere and those bar height chairs will turn and be at the bar top that i'll make in that opening but that'll also allow i mean not that it's a huge deal, but you will be able to see the TV from the kitchen, so I can cook while watching sports or whatever. You know, we can, we can. It'll just, it'll be nice. Um, I'm probably going to actually repurpose the sound system that I had in the garage at our last house into here because I don't have a use for that in the basement as it currently sits because it is basically storage right now. It's not the chill man cave hangout space that it will be one day. So we're probably going to bring that sound system up here and that will kind of allow the sound to flow through the common areas down here because we can use it for music as well uh, my wife has a record player in there and so you know opening up this wall will help the sound to be able to fill the space a little bit better and not be just blasting in that room uh but the, yeah the main thing is just getting making this whole area right here this is we don't use the front door for that much like we don't go in and out of it you know on a daily basis i use the back door almost exclusively for work. The only time we really use the front door instead of the back door is if the kids are just going out on the front porch to play or if we have really muddy boots and stuff because the covered front porch, we can you know go in there and take off our muddy boots and they won't be tracking mud in through the house. So, but we are mostly using the back door and it's just really tight. So we're going to open all this up. I actually, my brother helped me out yesterday uh, he's far more familiar with navigating through the residential, the, the building code, um, which for us is the, the Virginia residential building code. And he was helping me, he was, he helped me find the tables in that, which tell you, I mean, it's not, it's not, uh, it's not something you have to get an engineer involved in for something that is basic as just putting a load bearing header in a, in a wall like this, uh, cause this is a load bearing wall center of the house, you know, joists are coming from both the front of the house and the back of the house and landing on that wall. 
and then it's supporting the second floor above. So, but it's just math and all of that kind of stuff. So he showed me where to look to see what size beam I needed. I, I'm actually gonna need to do a bigger beam than I thought I would, which is fine, because I'll just do a little bit of creative trim work around it to uh, avoid you know building out the entire depth of the wall so that'll all be fine uh, but that's gonna be that is that is the main the main project in this video and like I said I think probably gonna stretch it out into more than just one video because I mean we have to set up we got to clear out the kitchen we got to set up temporary walls um, which I've done in a few videos on the channel before um, we're using metal pipe columns adjustable pipe columns and setting up a temporary wall on each side of the load bearing wall to hold the weight of the floor assembly and roof that's above it while we you know do the the demo and the new framing in that opening so i don't know it's four o'clock i don't know how far into that we'll, we'll get today we might just be kind of cleaning up and i gotta go dig the dig the beams out of the trailer and get the jack posts up here and probably kind of get prepped for that and then most likely get into it tomorrow but we'll see got the temporary beam up. So this is a setup we've used many times at work. Just steel adjustable post columns with some four by six beams to carry the weight of the floor and roof above. So now we're ready to mark on the wall and start opening up the wall. All right, don't get loud ladies. Oh, good, there's nothing in the wall. 
What do you mean? Well, there's a good time to try to do this and there's like a random vent pipe or something that... <laughs> nope. Ready to smash that stuff? Nope. Got the kitchen side down. So from this edge straight up is where the right side of the opening is going to be and the same thing on the left. And the reason I demoed the drywall full height is in this space right here I need some jack and king studs to support the beam that will go in up at the top. So doing the demo full height in the kitchen just a little bit there's more room to work in the kitchen than there is in the family room so i will cut only the opening like the actual size of the opening in the drywall on the family room side and all the work will happen from the kitchen side all the drywall work everything uh, will be easier it's more easily accomplished from the kitchen side uh, this is how we more or less surgically kind of demo a wall this is this is actually the first time I've ever created a window opening, like a pass-through window kind of opening like this. We've demoed lots of them, either taking the wall completely out or actually framed in said opening um, based on the layout changes that we were making on, on the given job. So this is kind of a first for me, but it'll it's going to really suit our purposes and what we're trying to accomplish here, I think, for the next few years until we do something a little bit bigger. All right, it's 8.30 now. I decided to just keep working after taking a break for dinner. It is now uh, 12 degrees with a real feel of negative eight. It's getting a little chilly out here. I just uh, cut all of my king and jack studs. Those are the cutoffs there on the ground by the trailer. So now it is time to go inside and actually install them. That is it for tonight. Got the opening framed. The only thing I still need to add is I have to do three of these two by 12s. I've got two of them up, screwed together, and I got the third one here ready to go up tomorrow. It's getting a little late. Kids went to bed a little while ago. I don't know if they're asleep or not. I've been, you know, beating these beams into place and then using an impact driver to fasten them together. So I've been making a lot of noise and I'm gonna go ahead and cut that out for the evening but we made pretty good progress tomorrow we're gonna actually 
we're gonna do our March Christmas Eve and we're gonna do our Christmas like Christmas morning routine uh, tomorrow morning because we Sunday Christmas Day we're gonna be going to church and then my brother's house for our family you know Christmas gathering so it'll be later in the afternoon before we get back home so we're gonna do our you know our own personal family Christmas morning tomorrow and but then sometime tomorrow afternoon I will get back in here the next step is to go ahead and actually cut out the other side the family room side of the drywall to be able to I have to push the beam the beam is going to be a little bit wider than the wall is and I'll I'll get into how I'm going to handle that later but I need to remove that drywall so I can actually push the beam that way a little bit and get that third one up in there that's a job for tomorrow you never know what you're going to find when you start pulling stuff apart in the house and this is no exception so you'll notice there's a totally different crown profile in the family room as compared to the kitchen this is this is very small in my hand for reference this is uh two and a half maybe somewhere in that range this stuff is a good bit larger this is four and a quarter actually because i just looked it up i was cutting the opening on the family room side and i needed to remove the crown above it and look what's hiding underneath of the crown more crown <laughs> whoever installed this also did a really bang up job on uh on finishing out over here i guess it was too much trouble to go buy another piece so they just kind of cobbled it all together like that real real quality workmanship Okay, you can come down whenever you're ready. Wow! Very much opened. I like it. Mm hmm. Wow, imagine what it would be like if the whole pole <laughs> Yes, but then we have door for our couch. Yeah, I know. Pretty awesome, though. It's a lot to look at. <laughs> you're happy? Good. Pretty awesome. We can have a conversation with you. Yeah. And I can watch TV. We can watch, I might, hey, maybe I would be inclined to cook more often when I can, you know. We can also sit and watch TV. We can, yeah, we can sit, sit at the bar and watch TV. Yeah, I think having our friends stay with us and then having like a couple people over for dinner made us realize that the kitchen is not big enough for our yep. table and chairs. Yeah, I talked about that earlier. I mean, usually you're tearing out these kinds of things, but it just, like, for our situation, it works. That'll be great. Yeah, that'll be much better. All right, got the framing done, all the rough, the rough opening complete, and started on drywall. So I ended up taking off the piece across the bottom because we decided to go ahead and break off the tile baseboard on that wall and it kind of messed up the bottom of that drywall so i ended up having to take it all off but i did have enough drywall to complete it um this is actually going to work out pretty well so the beam is four and a half inches wide as is drywall to drywall so it's going to be really easy to trim out in a really in a really cool way and i'll get into that in the next video uh but this is this is probably going to be the end of this one it's already really awesome it's we're like 27 hours into the project and made a lot of progress so far it's already a lovely opening even without any trim or anything didn't have to do any additional drywall work on this side once i took the crown off or anything so that's going to be it for this video uh made good progress and we'll get into all the trim and all that kind of stuff in the next one so stay tuned for that it's christmas eve so merry christmas hope everybody had a good time with their families do whatever they're doing and uh see you in the next one